everybody and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be decorating our upstairs and that will conclude the decorating for Christmas. So I'm going to start in my office. I have this pink ombre tree which I was very excited about and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. So we're going to set up the tree and just add a few touches. So I'll have both of these trees linked down below. Um, I was very happy with both of them, mine and Gunner's that I got this year, which they're new this year, so um, I got them both on lit so that way I could change colors or just swap out the strands if I needed to. It's just a lot of work when you have a burnt out bulb on a pre-lit tree. So I just wanted to put this in here because if you check this out, look, there's only like 10 needles on the floor. So this tree definitely held up so nicely <clears throat> to being fluffed and everything. So I'm very happy with this. So I grabbed these um, Christmas balls last year at TJ Maxx for eight dollars after Christmas because they were on sale so score it's cold outside but the fire keeps us warm we can spend the night so I did this backwards I typically put like my non Christmas ball decorations on the tree first and I got too excited and I started putting the Christmas balls on first, so now I'm taking all the Christmas balls off to put all my other stuff on first and then put the Christmas balls back on. So, so the reason I do that is actually to make sure that I get all my special ornaments on there first before I start adding Christmas balls because those are the, you know, the main focus of the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. So like I said, I really enjoyed the way that this all came out after I took all of the ornaments off and then redid it, but it turned out really cute. I turned off the lights so that way I could see what I was doing and then I turned on the lights and it just made my heart happy. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere. So these gorgeous Christmas trees I end up putting up here, these ones, if you didn't see my last video, my part two clean and decorate with me, I shared a very extensive Hobby Lobby haul. I would definitely go check that out. They have some great stuff this year and I was very happy to find those. I thought that was a great elegant touch to that shelf. So now it's a few days later and I had just been shopping with my mom so I ended up putting up a few more touches in this room to finish it off um, but first I had to clean up my messy desk. In a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I have decorated everything till we perfect for this week. Tomorrow. 
Moving on to Gunner's office, um, I bought a black pencil tree off of Amazon for him and then we picked up these blue flashing lights from Hobby Lobby so that's what I'm going to be putting together for him. definitely could have used another strand of these lights to make it a little more lit but it turned out really cute I think it is very unique and cool for his office now this was just a tree skirt that I already had so I'll probably pick one up next year for him that's a little more masculine and this the idea was kind of to go with the child from like the mandalorian he likes that so i grabbed those ornaments off of amazon and i also grabbed some cute little plastic circular dishes they have like an etching in them you'll see them a little bit but i think it turned out really cute So I would love to know, leave a comment in the comment box down below. I want to know if you guys do any themed trees because I think they're so cool. Um, of course I like my like aesthetically pleasing tree downstairs that's just festive and cozy. But I think these themed trees, these are new this year for me so I just, I think they're really cool. So now I'm just adding a few festive touches to the guest bathroom upstairs. I'm just adding these two trees here at the top of the shelf and a festive hand towel. This year I think about how I'm so lucky Next up is our bedroom. So I've been waiting and deciding on how much decor I want to put in here and I ended up going with kind of just very minimal. So I ended up grabbing this Merry Christmas uh, Ray Dunn picture frame at TJ Maxx this year. So I ended up putting that up here with some trees and then just adding a few touches here and there around the house, or not around the house, around my bedroom. And I didn't end up putting a tree in here this year either. So that will do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for sticking around with me. I hope you subscribe and check out parts 1 and 2. Bye!